We are at poolplaza.com and we're going to look at some of the factors that you need to consider when determining what size and horsepower and type of pump you need for your swimming pool. This is not as simple as most people make it and we do find that often when swimming pools are built that the incorrect size pump is installed by the builder. When you're replacing a pump or putting in a new pump on a new installation, you need to do the very best you can to make sure it's the right size. Getting the right size pump means that you'll be able to keep your water clear and clean better, that you'll save money on electricity, and that the pump itself will last longer and require fewer repairs. Some of the major factors involved in determining the right pump include the volume of water that you have in number of gallons, other features that you may have that are going to be using the same pump, including spas, fountains, waterfalls, and any other type feature that's part of your system. The diameter of the pipe. The diameter of the pipe is critical because only a certain amount of water can be forced to flow through a particular size pipe and you want to be sure that number one your pump can pump that amount of water and number two that it does not pump an excess amount of water which would just be a waste. If you have a pool cleaner that's another factor to consider when you're selecting a pump. The feet of head has to do with the amount of resistance of all of the pipe and equipment that's on the return side of the system. And feet of head for most residential pools is not a major issue, but it's still something that must be considered. The type and size filter that you have, every pool has a filter, and the type of filter, whether it's sand, DE, or cartridge, and the size of it has a lot to do with what pump you select as well. Voltage. You need to know when selecting a pump whether you're going to use 230 volts, 115 volts, and whether you're going to use single phase, which is true of almost 100% of homes, or three phase, which is used on some homes as well as commercial applications. The voltage, even though you think it may be either one or the other of these, you should check carefully at your breaker box and make sure that the voltage is correct before you order a pump. Some pumps in smaller horsepowers can be configured to use either 115 or 230 volt power. If it's like that, if it's either, either or, then it comes from the factory as 230 volt. Always keep that in mind. Other pumps only can be run at either 115 volts or 230. So this is a very important consideration. Very important when selecting a pump that you select a pump that can handle the volume of water that you have in your pool. And remember that the weight of figure volume of water in rectangular pools, the basic formula, length times width times average depth times 7.8. In round or oval pools, length times width times average depth times 5.9. Get that number as close as you can. This is important because in residential pools to keep the water clean and clear you want to be able to turn over the entire amount of water in the pool once every eight hours and you want a flow rate that the pump can provide to make that turnover happen. All of these factors are things that must be considered in selecting a pump. On 
the Pool Plaza website, we have a pump sizing request that you can fill out. You would need the information that we've just talked about and you can go to our Pool Plaza pump page and click on the pump sizing request. When you do that, it will give you places to put all of the information that's needed for us to help you make a decision on the proper pump for your pool or spa or other water feature that you have. If you need to contact us about pump sizing, you can fill that form out online and email it to us and we'll email you back. Or you can contact us at info at poolplaza.com or you can call us at 800-394-6131.